this is such a practical and useful gift to make for someone and can be done with a very basic sewing machine. You can make it in the person's favorite colors or print. The best fabric to use is 100% cotton or any other heat resistant fabric which will be easy to sew. Denim is a good choice as well. Just make sure that it is not the stretchable one as the elastic in it would not withstand the heat. I have already a video about the choice of fabric which explains this reason very well. I decorated this trivet with a crocheted edge to give it a nice finish as well as with a top stitch in a contrasting color and printed quotes which will be shown step by step. Here is an example of a beautiful print with rick rack braid or trim around the edge. You can even print your own picture or quote. First try the print you prefer on a piece of paper to make sure whether the layout allows for seams, the direction you want it to be in and whether the colors are what you thought it to be. A4 printable fabric is available, more or less five sheets in a bag, at a price of course. That's why it's important not to waste it. Before you print, make sure on what side of the paper the printer prints once the paper is placed into the paper tray. I made a little mark in the left corner of a piece of paper facing upwards in order to see whether the print will be on the same side or not. The print came out on the flip side which means that the smooth or plastic side of the fabric has to face upwards as well. It may be different to each brand of printer. That's why you have to test it. After it has been printed, it has to set for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, let it soak in the lukewarm water for 10 minutes, as indicated on the instructions. I find it easier to leave the plastic film on, which then can be removed easier as well. After 10 minutes, give it a rinse, remove the plastic film and leave it on a flat, clean surface to dry. While it's drying, I'll show you some of the nice things I've made. I've placed these pictures onto a blue background. It's not the fabric which is blue. And after it has been printed and dried, I frayed the top and bottom edges of the fabric to create a fringe. This can be used as a memory pillow or with lots of squares, even a memory blanket can be created. I used the printed tea towel for this pillow and only printed the turquoise photo on the home printer. Here's another printed picture. The quality of the print on fabric is absolutely beautiful. Guess it's a good printer also. I made a shoulder bag and used the print of the lining as inspiration for the hand painted flowers around the border. Some prints cut out in circles and placed into hoops.
a printed quote is just as effective on a pillow or a clothes hanger. Yes, I will show you how to decorate the clothes hanger in another video. Look out for a video with a hanger in the picture. Okay, it's dry. Let's continue. Determine how big the tubes should be because they have to be equal in size, as I will explain. Any size from 15 to 20 centimeters is a good size square for a trivet. It is important to plan ahead because once you've sewn the tubes, the whole shape of the picture can be distorted. Allow for one centimeter seams where you need to sew the squares together. When you sew two different colors of fabric together, use the same color thread on the bobbin for the fabric below, in this case white, and blue on the spool pin for the fabric above. When using a light color together with a dark color of fabric, make sure to iron the seam in the direction of the dark color otherwise it will be visible as shown in the picture. Reinforce it with a top stitch. After the seams have been ironed and top stitched, use the completed side as a pattern for the other side of the trivet. Remember in which direction the tubes are going to be and leave one of the sides open with the edges folded one centimeter over to the outside. Iron and hand sew with tacking stitches to keep it in place. Start right on the edge and sew around with a one centimeter or 10 millimeter seam width leaving the one side open. Good advice is to sew tiny one millimeter stitches or smaller at the corners to reinforce it, especially when the excess fabric is trimmed off. Turn the inside out and with a bit of rubbing and pushing from the inside, with a blunt object, you will get a nice corner. Also, can you see with the thicker fabric, it's not turned out flat and even. With a bit of rubbing and tacking stitch, you will get the edge nice and even. Onto the closed seam edges, hand sew a chain stitch for the basis of the crochet edge. For the chain stitch, you have to insert the needle inside the loop as demonstrated and make sure it is in the seam line, not catching any fabric at the top or the bottom.
To finish off, insert the yarn outside the loop and back tack a couple of stitches on the seam allowance to prevent it from coming undone. To get the crochet edge started, insert the yarn again where you want to start. Tie a few knots and pull it back against the seam. I found it easier to crochet the edge with a metric size of 0.6 crochet hook. Very easy grab stitch. Go below the chain hook the yarn, pull through, loop around the hook and pull through. Repeat around every single chain stitch. Another idea is to have a rickrack trim or braid edge. Determine where the seam line are going to be, in this case 1 cm or 10 mm from the edge. Mark it on the right side of the fabric where you have to tack stitch the middle of the braid onto the line. It is easier to get rid of the tacking stitches if you sew it slightly above the stitching line. Where the pins are is where you will sew with the machine and then have a beautiful scalloped edge as result. The tubes you are about to sew has got to be the same width, otherwise a warm object placed on the trivet will only rest on the bigger tubes as shown in the picture. Then most of the heat will be lost through the gap. Make sure you plan the tubes in advance, otherwise the picture may be distorted too much or you won't be able to read the words. If the tubes in the picture above were from top to bottom, the trees, fence and sheep would have looked funny. Sew the marked tubes from one end to the other. I'm using paper and contrasting thread for the sake of the demonstration. Spices I find to work well is cinnamon and cloves. It's up to you to experiment with. You can fold your own funnel from paper or use a little jug to fill the tubes with. Fill it as tight as possible. 
pin the tight full tube at the top and sew with tiny overhand stitches. When you use a light color fabric, remember that dark colored spices might show through. In this case, I put spices in the side tubes and only rice in the middle ones. Open the tight full tube at the top and sew with tiny overhand stitches. Undo the tacking and continue to finish off the side with chain stitches and the crochet edge. Mmm, the aroma you get when something warm is placed on there is very appetizing. 